everyone, Jelly here, and thanks for coming to watch another nail polish video. Today, I am going over the launch of my own polishes, Prickly Pear Polish. We have six polishes available as of right now. We have a birthday polish, two Easter polishes, and three spring polishes. I do also want to let you know that Cupcake Face is back in stock on the site as well. While it only has the updated bottle photo right now, I will be retaking shots of the bottles. I just didn't have time since I caught a cold and needed to rest. With that out of the way, I am using the Orly Bonder base underneath all my swatches today, so let's go ahead and get started. First up, we have Stargazer Lilies, which is a milky white jelly base with a red shimmer with red matte hex and square glitters in it. This was a polish I had floating in my brain for quite a while. Something really delicate, something that might have a little bit of visible nail line, but something that you could layer over like a white polish and get such a beautiful wash of color over it. This is exactly what I was looking for, exactly what I wanted it to be. I found that the glitters came out pretty organically for as you can see I didn't do any fishing with my bottle and with my bottle personally because I've used it a bit some of the glitters have sunk to the bottom so if you want a little bit more glitter output just turn the bottle upside down for about 10 minutes before you start and that will help bring some of the glitters back I did not do that this time I do want to let you know that the formula on this one is a little bit on the thicker side because it does have glitters in it. When you're working with glitters, they have a different suspension base that needs to be thicker in order to suspend them properly. But I did do my best to find a good ratio of glitter suspension base to traditional suspension base. So it's not terribly thick, but it's still super workable. You can just tell compared to the others it is on the thicker side. And there is one, two, and three coats of Stargazer Lilies. Next up, we have Prickly Pear Blossoms, which is a orange to yellow thermal polish with fuchsia to gold to orange to lime color shifting flakes. This polish is definitely more on the sheer side you can see that visible nail line on me even in that three coats in the cold state, which is the orange. So in the warm yellow state, it's definitely going to be there. But because of those beautiful flakes in there, it adds just a nice wash of color over the nails. And I really did enjoy that look. With the visible nail line, I personally found that even in the cold and warm state, that it was more like a touch of visible nail line and not an intense nail line like it would be on this first coat. You can see in the video that you can still see the line of the visible nail line, but it's not like in your face like on that first coat. Even on my ring finger, you can see it a little bit better there, but you can still see it has decent opacity. When I got to doing that third coat, you can see that the polish started warming up a little bit and you can see what I mean. I also managed to manipulate some shots. So this first shot we have is when it's fully in its cold state. And this next shot is when it's in its warm state. And there is one, two, and three coats of prickly pear blossoms. Finally, we have lavender butts, which is a lavender jelly base packed with lavender micro flakes as well as a purple sparks shimmer. This one, my video phone camera could not do this one justice. You can see as I move my finger around on that first coat that it is fairly sparkly, but nowhere near as sparkly as this polish is in person. Like when I tell you this one is sparkly, I mean it is sparkly. This one also has a really great formula. I loved working with this one on my own bottle. I have to say that even though I've mostly done it for swatches, I have a pretty visible fill line on it because I just keep wanting to do this one because it's just so pretty. 
You could on this one make it into coats and I do think it is possible to get this one into coats but you would have to be very careful with your application maybe work with a little bit thicker layers than I did but for sure full opacity in that third coat and you can see on my ring finger that white spot that's growing out wasn't fully opaque in that second coat but does get fully opaque in that third coat as well. I could also see wearing this one over a similar shade of purple to make it a nice sparkly topper. You can also see the color deepens just a little bit with that third coat as well. And there is one, two, and three coats of lavender buds. Next up, we have Crackling Leaves, which is my birthday polish for this year. This polish was named with the help of those that follow my Instagram page for my brand Prickly Pear Polish. So thank you followers for helping me vote on my name. This polish is a dark green jelly packed with Glitter Unique's Unicorn Pigment number 8. And this Unicorn Pigment number 8 shifts from that gorgeous red to orange to yellow to green pigment really gives it a nice glowing look to it. I really wanted this one to be more of a crelly formula similar to Frosty Blush because I really like that formula but Unicorn Pigment and Sparks are very different I learned. This one had to be a jelly because anytime I try to add any more of that green pigment than I wanted to add to it then all the Unicorn Pigment would just fall to the bottom of the bottle and I didn't want to mix it with the glitter suspension base because then I felt like it was too thick because with the amount of unicorn pigment I put in it it is already quite a bit on the thicker side but even though it is on the thicker side it is still very workable if you work in thinner coats I might recommend doing a little bit more polish than you are used to working with just to play it safe to get a feel for it but once you get a feel for it it does work beautifully and I love that the color depends with each coat if you wanted to get it opaque faster you could always layer it over a similar color and use it as a topper that way as well and there is one two and three coats of crackling leaves On to our Easter duo. Our first one is Grass and Daffodils. This one is a Shamrock Green Crelly base loaded with gold microflakes and gold shreds. For this one, I will be honest, I accidentally put a little bit too much of the gold shreds into my polish. So mine is thick with three C's, but when you get your polish, it will be be not as packed with that green glitter but it will still have that beautiful opacity this one is definitely beautiful but I would strongly recommend wearing a top coat with this one if you don't like a little textured because of all those gold flakes it does dry down a little bit on the texture side but you can even see that with despite that it's hard to tell in the video that it is textured but it does make this polish a little bit hard to work with due to the ratio again this is something that is exclusive to my bottle your bottles will be a little bit easier to work with since it won't be as packed with the gold flakes this polish is also beautiful fully opaque within those two coats but because this is how I swatch my nails we are going to do that third coat on that video which I personally find doesn't make that much of a difference but you might need that if you have extremely long nails and there is one, two, and three coats of grass and daffodils. Last but certainly not least is Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace is a medium tone pastel violet base with a red shimmer through it and has gold micro flakes and platinum silver flakes in it. This one is definitely one that I 
am really in love with. I don't say that a lot about colors that are not green. I'm very much a green person. Green's my favorite color to wear on my nails. But this one just has a special place in my heart. It's just so stunning. On that first coat, it is a little bit on that sheer side, but it can build up nicely in that second coat. And on that third coat, it does deepen that color up. It's just so beautiful. This formula for this one was just so nice to work with. I love how it looks and it's definitely a really beautiful color. I want to wear this for all of Easter, for all of the rest of the spring season. I just really like this, but I know I need to give my other polishes love as well. You can see on that second coat, that opacity is like right there. But as I said before, earlier, you do want to have that third coat if you are looking to deepen that color a little bit. It also helps the silver and gold flakes come out a little bit more. But no matter what, how many layers you use, that red shimmer will definitely be there. I just can't get over how beautiful this polish is. And there is one, two, and three coats of Prince of Peace. And here are all the polishes together. I love this color combination. I know they are all four different things, but I just really love it. I also think it's really funny because I was looking at the top three polishes, which are the spring collection that I'm releasing. And I realized that I accidentally basically created more Halloween-y colors, but I'm still really happy with these. If you liked any of the polishes, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear which one's your favorite, even if you don't plan to pick any of them up. Just by commenting on the video and interacting with me really means a lot, I promise. Um, also, please like the video if you liked this kind of content and lets me know you want to see more of it. If you are wanting to see more of this as well or more of what I could post, please hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on any other videos. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!